I had uh, one or two things I was going to do tonight. And, uh, of course, they were calling for rain. And you never know if the weatherman is going to be right or not. So, uh, you know, I was going to try to get those things done. And, of course, it's for actually raining. Um, five hours later than they said it was going to start raining. But it is actually raining. So, someone said something to me earlier today. And I thought it was a good idea to do a video about it. And there's only a handful of things that I've ever reviewed on my channel. And the ones that I can remember, this is kind of a bad situation to be in, because I can't hardly remember anything. But the number of items I, I have reviewed and are approved by me are few and I think I can remember them all it is the cheap frog togs poncho from Walmart that costs like five or six bucks it's in every one of my go bags I keep them in every one of my vehicles and uh, most of them are gosh seven or eight years old now and I, I use them a couple of times a month at least. Um, I've used them walking through the woods. People say they tear easy. I've never had a single one ever tear. I also did a 10 uses plus bonus uses of that poncho. And you'll see why it's kind of important to me to have. And I'll link to that video. Uh whichever the top right is of your screen where the video cards are at for recommendations. So that item's approved by me. The I think the second item that I ever approved was the Harbor Freight Chipper Shredder. Thing works great. I still approve it to this day. And I stand behind that. The other thing that I have, have approved are the Hoover branded beehives. I now own five of them. Uh, I own two, I bought two last year. I bought one earlier this year and I just bought two more. I think that the value for what they cost, you can't build them yourself for that. When you look at the time involved and the cost of materials, the cost of wood, I absolutely approve those items now the reason why I'm bringing this up is and why I don't actually review a lot of things and I'm sure you've done it too I bought so much stuff based on YouTube reviews off of Amazon and it turned out to be junk and I finally realized the people aren't giving those great reviews because it's a great product. They're giving those great reviews to send all of their thousands of subscribers to Amazon or to the company's website with a discount code to buy them. And then they get a kickback. So they're making money off that great review. Now the reason why I don't do a lot of reviews is because if the item sucks, I'm going to tell you that it sucks. <laughs> that companies aren't knocking down my door to do reviews of their products because they're afraid of the negative publicity they're going to get. If it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. Oh, wait. There was one other item, the Sunjo Tillers. Those are amazing. I do approve of those. So there's four items. Um... Those, those are the only things I can think of that I have officially approved. Gets my stamp of approval on my YouTube channel. There might be something that I ain't thought of because, you know, I did forget about the uh, Sun Joe Tiller. But what I'm getting at is I don't have companies knocking on my door to do product reviews because if it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. 
and they just don't want that negative publicity. When they can go to a much larger channel with 80,000 subscribers or half a million subscribers or something like that, and that person give a review, not because their product's great, but because the company is going to give them a kickback. So, what I'm trying to do is warn you. Um, I, I've seen some homesteading channels do it, but I promise you I will never be like that. There is not a single company that's ever paid me to do a review. I review things because I actually find them to be useful. The quality is good. I think they'll do a great job on my homestead. And if that changes, you know, if one of these Sun Joe Tillers, because I own two of them now, that I paid for out of my own pocket, if one of them goes bad prematurely, I'm going to tell you, it went bad prematurely. Now, the first one would be kind of unfair because I ain't going to joke. I beat that thing to death intentionally trying to break it. And it still works to this day. I just had it out the other day, a matter of fact. But what I want you to be aware of is just because somebody reviews a product on their YouTube channel don't necessarily mean it's a good product. Um, do your research. Everybody loves to do their internet research. Do your research. Try to find somebody that's not biased. Find you a smaller YouTube channel like mine. You know, if, if there's something that you're curious about, even though I've never reviewed it, ask me. I'll tell you whether or not I've ever used it or not, and I'll give you my impression of it. Um, there's a lot of things, especially if it's hiking gear or uh, that... You, you couldn't imagine the number, the amount of hiking gear that I own. But, um, find you a smaller channel, someone that's not biased, somebody that wasn't paid to review that product, to give you the truth. Because I hate seeing people getting burned out of money. And it happens all the time. A lot of the hiking stuff I bought was bought from watching YouTube channels seven, eight years ago before I caught on to what the deal was. And, uh, I'm, I'm really really leery about buying stuff now based on YouTube reviews. Um, however, videos that I have reviewed, actual products I've reviewed, I am confident those will do you good. They've done me great. That's why I reviewed them. That's why there's not a lot of products on my YouTube channel. That's why there's not companies beating down my door to do product reviews. And uh, I just wanted you to be aware of that. Since I can't actually be working outside tonight because of the rain. Can you see the rain? They're calling for thunderstorms with, it, with up to three inches of rain overnight. Three inches of rain overnight. Anyways, don't want to get off topic. Any questions, hit them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, there's that bell thing everybody always talks about. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know where the bell's at. Uh, you can hit it if you want to be notified whenever I upload something. I would tell you where it's at, but I don't personally know myself because I don't never use it on YouTube, and I'm subscribed to all kinds of channels. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Thank you.